Welcome back YouTubers. Now, if you can recollect in MongoDB, we have a database and each database is made up of collections and each collection is in turn made up of documents. Now, in this video, let us learn how to insert documents into a collection within a database. So I have created a new file called insert.php and I have just included the required uh, piece of line. Okay, so to insert uh, to insert a document, we have two methods. One to insert a single document at a time and one to insert multiple documents at a time. So let us understand with examples these two methods. Now first, let's create a client variable. Now dollar $client is equal to new mongodb slash client. Now once we have the client, we can access the database. So dollar company db is equal to dollar client of company db now this is the database that we had created in the previous video now within the company database we can select the collection so dollar employee collection is equal to dollar company db and then employee collection okay so far we have created a client we have the database selected and then we have the employee collection selected so let's go ahead and insert documents within this particular collection so to insert a collection or to insert a single document i mean to say we use the insert one method so let's create insert one result as a variable and this is going to be equal to dollar employee collection employee collection and the object operator and then we use the insert one method now this is going to have to take an array so over here we have let's say name and this is going to be equal to let's say ethan and then we also have an h as a field so let's say 28 and Ethan also has a skill and he is killed in let's say PHP okay now we can save this and we can also print the inserted count so we can say inserted percentage D documents and we can access it using dollar insert one result and we can use the method get inserted count okay and we can also get the ID of the inserted document using variable underscore dump we can just say dollar get sorry insert one result of get inserted ID now let's save this and see what happens so let's go to insert.php insert.php assume skill okay there is a mistake okay let's save this let's refresh it so it says inserted one document and we also have the object id which is the string right here now if you don't specify the id field mongodb is going to insert one for us but let's change let's create another document by specifying the id so let's say id is going to be underscore and this is going to be equal to one so now let's also change the name let's change it to andrew let the age be 26 and let's say he's killed in mongodb all right so let's save this and we have a problem yeah this right here 
save this and refresh and we have inserted one document and it is going to be one over here the get inserted id so that's how you insert documents into a collection okay now we can also insert multiple documents at the same time so for that we are going to be making use of insert many method so let me go ahead and comment out this so dollar insert many result and this is going to be dollar employee collection but this time we are going to be using the method insert many now this is going to take an array of documents let's have the first document just going to copy this over here and let's have okay let's have a few more documents okay let's have five documents so again if you don't specify the id it's going to create it for you but i'm going to specify anyway let's have 234 as the id let's have brad let's have chris and let's have debbie i'll let the age be 26 30 and 22 we can have mongodb let's say no js and we can have angular okay so now we can have inserted percentage d documents now instead of insert one result we can use insert many result which is the variable right here and we can say get inserted count and we can also dump the variable many result get inserted id so there's going to be ids over here so let's save this and we have a problem insert many result get inserted count unexpected printer okay so i need to have a semicolon over here okay so let's reload this there you go we have inserted three documents and the first object is object id 2 then we have a 3 and then we have a 4 and there you go we have 2 3 4 and we have three documents inserted so that's how you insert documents into the database you use insert one method over here to insert a single document and you use insert many command or method to insert multiple documents into the collection so thank you guys for watching and in the next video let us see how to find the documents inside the collection bye bye